Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague signing the Domestic Violence Awareness Month proclamation. The Family Advocacy Program has several awareness and education events scheduled throughout the month. A calendar is available at me.armymwr.com. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Our top story this week, U.S. Army Garrison Fort George G. Meade officially welcomed a new Command Sergeant Major in ceremonies this week at the McGill Training Center. When I first learned I was running in the running to become the uh, Fort Meade Garrison Sergeant Major, I said to myself, well, they won't pick me. I'm not an Intel Sergeant Major. Uh, well, it turns out being a uh, combat engineer wasn't a disqualifier. And uh, so here I am 120 days later after uh, notification. Uh, Command Sergeant Major Banks, thanks for assisting me with getting uh, integrated to Fort Meade. Command Sergeant Major Bankendorf most recently served as a Garrison Command Sergeant Major for Area Support Group Kuwait. In other news, Major General Omar Jones, the Commanding General, Military District of Washington, and Fort Meade Senior Commander hosted a town hall this week at the Post Theater. The town hall was the latest in a series of community forums at Fort Meade focused on installation housing. My perception, and I very much want to hear what you all think tonight, is that we have made progress here in Fort Meade, but we're not there yet. Uh, until every single problem is resolved in a timely, transparent manner to the right quality where our residents feel like, okay, um, I feel like I raised an issue and it was addressed very quickly. It was addressed to the right standard and I had good interaction with the folks who are solving that problem and we're not there yet. So I think we're heading in the right direction, but we're not where we need to be and we're not going to stop and we're not going to change the priority and we're not going to change the focus until all of our residents feel that way. And they feel that they've been approached with that right of customer service attitude, with the right quality and the right um, transparency. Frankly, Questions and answers took up most of the 90-minute session. You can watch the town hall in its entirety on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fortmeadmd. Elsewhere, Security Force Assistance Brigades, or SFABs, are brand new units being stood up in the Army, specialized units that work with partner nations to help them increase their capability. The first stood up in February 2018. Currently, there are six SFABs, five active duty, and one National Guard. A team of SFAB recruiters visited Fort Meade earlier this month to make their pitch. Being the Chief's number one priority gives us certain privileges, ability to move people around our Army that you don't see in other units. So, what does that mean? YMAF, time on station, DROS, none of that matters when it comes to volunteering for the SFAB. Okay? If you volunteer, you can be signing into Fort Meade day one today. Raise your hand. If we select you and bring you to the SFAB, we can PCS you out of here in less than 90 days. Okay, SFABs are not special forces. Uh, we're not competing with special forces. We're not stealing a mission. Uh, the truth of the matter is we work with the uh, conventional side of our partner nation force. They work with the special operations side. There are also benefits to serving in an SFAB, including retention bonuses and special duty pay. More information can be found at GoArmy.com. Tis the season for Fall Fests, Fort Meade's Morale, Welfare and Recreation Division staged what they hoped to be the first annual Artisans and Ales Festival last weekend at Burba Lake. Seven local brewers and winemakers and about 15 artisans were on hand to show off their wares. Fruit notes and then you have know, nice hops to it as well, but it has a nice little bite. Last but not least... The festival included live music by the School of Rock, games for kids and several food choices. About 200 tickets were sold in advance and more showed up on the day of the event. Hopefully we'll report on a second Artisan and Ales Festival next year. Meanwhile, Halloween is coming up and MWR is doing something a little bit different this year. They're staging a Halloween festival on October 30th and 31st at Burba Lake Cottage. The October 30th date is suggested for younger kids. On the 31st, Burba Cottage is going to be set up as a haunted house for those that want a little fright in their night. Tickets for both nights are available at the door starting at 5 p.m. Meanwhile, the Installation Chapel is hosting their annual Hallelujah Festival on the 31st from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Fort Meade Pavilion. Lots of food, fun, and games for all ages. They just ask, no scary costumes, please. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. USO Metro supports our military and their families in the National Capital Region. Our mission is to strengthen America's service members by keeping them connected to family, home, and country. USO Metro is there with a place to relax and enjoy a snack, assistance as they travel home or into harm's way, comfort as they heal from wounds or recover from illness, and reassurance as they transition back into civilian life. Visit us online at usometro.org.